Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 22nd, around the 22nd. So, what do we got? What do we got for around the 22nd? We know that the timing is fluid, right? And not every reading is for you. The lovers reversed. The chariot. The Emperor. Five of Wands reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. So we'll start right there. So it looks like we have, with the lovers reversed, a conflict. We have a conflict or disharmony in a union. So there is some sort of conf conflict, disharmony. We have somebody that is taking control, that has taken control, that has taken charge, that has made a decision. The decision has been made to move in a new direction because of the chariot. That's moving in a new direction. This is somebody that is very adamant about their decision. So the decision has been made to make that move. So that is getting behind the driver's seat, taking the wheel, taking charge, and uh, headed towards victory and success. We definitely have a very strong-minded individual. This person is strong, experienced. Um, it looks like they're pretty fearless as well. There's a lot of faith here. So we have a, a very determined individual that is... Uh, you know, separating because the lovers reverse is a separation. They're separating from something that is lacking harmony. It's just not compatible. It's not, there's no, there's no reason to go down this path anymore. If you look at underneath it is the page of pentacles reverse. That's, that's a dead end. Okay. It's a dead end. There's a blockage standing in the way of achieving the goal. And I don't know, it could be a person. I don't know. It could be could be somebody that is younger that is blocking the path. That there's some, or there's or there has been a blockage of some sort. But with the Page of Pentacles reversed, it's like this is a dead end. It's laziness or you know a lack of uh, well, it's laziness. I don't want to do it. No, no, get up and go. We lack of focus. So I feel like somebody, you know, it's it's unplanned. I feel like it's, there has been a lack of planning, but with the with the emperor in the chariot, it does look like now somebody is taking charge. They're taking the position of leadership. So somebody is in a position of leadership, and there there there's been some sort of delay in success, but success is coming. After a separation, now the five of wands reversed, you know, that could go many different ways. So let me get one more card. Five of wands reversed. This is finding a solution, cooperating. There's fear of confrontation here as well. So uh, I don't know, but this is the end of a conflict. There's been a battle. Now the conflict is definitely coming to an end. Somebody is is determined to leave something behind. They're determined to take charge and change directions. After, you know, there's been some sort of, I don't know, maybe it's financial loss or loss of stability or just a lack of get up and go. I don't know. I mean, the page of pentacles reverse is lack of commitment. This is foolish behavior, lacking common sense. It's somebody that doesn't want responsibility that or didn't take responsibility. I don't know. But it could be another person that didn't take responsibility. Now we have somebody that is in a position of authority that is taking responsibility. This is somebody that is taking charge. They are taking the position and they are going in another direction and they're leaving behind the partnership that, you know, is not compatible. This is focused. The battle is over. Done fighting. 
um, moving in that new direction towards happiness, emotional fulfillment. So there is going to be emotional fulfillment here. The Ace of Cups is a gift from God, right? It's a gift of love or emotional fulfillment. So, I mean, the Ace of Cups is all about love and happiness and um, it's a spiritual blessing. So we do have somebody here that is headed towards happiness. This is the end of a battle. Absolutely. There's been fear of confrontation or somebody's been fighting, but this is the end of a battle because this is happiness. I do feel like it's going to be emotional because whenever you get the Ace of Cups, it's a flood of emotion. So I do think that we have a new beginning here. We have a new start. Things are about to get better. Headed towards love and emotional fulfillment. Ace of Wands reverse. Now this is lack of excitement, lack of desire, and lack of drive. And I could see that here. Going south. Mm. <laughs> Something has been going south. It's been going in the wrong direction or something like that because this is going south. Lack of growth. So there's a lack of growth. There's a lack of uh, fertility here. There's no reason to stay. Somebody could be, now this is like putting out fires as well. So it feels like putting out fires by leaving. Or taking charge. Taking the reins. This is taking the reins. It is. This is somebody that is very determined to be successful. And they're going to be. They are going to be successful. This is taking a journey. Somebody's going to be taking a journey, leaving behind a contract or a partnership that has been, uh, I don't know, there's been some sort of lack of commitment or disharmony or something like that. Foolish behavior may have been built on illusion or something like that. I mean, the lover's reverse. This is a, definitely a disconnection. And there's going to be a separation. And this separation is happening out of self-love. It is. This emperor is a male or a female. I feel this is somebody that is taking, this is somebody that is making a decision. So this is a decision that is being made. This is somebody that is in a position of authority that is making a decision to stop something from happening. You know, and it feels like they're stopping something by taking charge, which is very interesting. What is this emperor doing? This is somebody that is uh, in a position of authority. That is using their head. This is a provider that is that is going to provide whatever is needed to be successful. So yeah, we have a provider that is taking action. That is showing no weakness because we have somebody that is showing no weakness. Ah, definitely taking action. So yeah, we definitely have somebody that is in a position of authority, that has a divine connection to source, that is moving in a new direction. This is somebody that is very skilled, uh, very intelligent, very, very intelligent. This is somebody who has a lot of life experience that is creating a new life because that's what they are creating something new. Okay, it doesn't have to be a new life, but I think it is. This is creating something new. So the magician takes action to bring success. So this is somebody taking the power in their own hands. And the magician is as above, so below. So somebody has asked for help, I believe. And I feel like help has arrived or their wishes are being granted or everything is going to fall into place. The answer is yes. Yes, this is what you asked for. Don't let any fear get in the way, okay? So we, we have somebody, it is a very uh, strong, we have a very strong individual here that is, 
definitely, definitely taking charge. They're taking charge and they're about to do something. Uh, they've been planning it though. And this is interesting because it says uh, page of pentacles is typically unplanned, but this is a planner and this is a planner too. So I feel like we have somebody here that has been planning something and they're putting their plans into action. And while they are doing that, they are putting out some sort of fires, which is interesting. Anyhow, so we have somebody that has manifested something. They have manifested something um, beautiful by the looks of things. It is somebody that is in a position of authority. And, they, and, and their wish is granted. Their wish is granted. Whatever it is that they asked for. It's like they're getting what they asked for. This is somebody that is extremely focused focused on moving in a more positive direction very very positive ah the fool taking a journey stepping into an unknown territory letting go of fear leaving everything behind so yeah we got somebody that's leaving everything behind they're starting from scratch because that's what they have to do this is somebody that is taking a risk. They're acting on their plans because I feel like they've planned it. I don't think this is an impulsive decision. I think this is about a well thought out plan. I do feel like we have an individual that is definitely, uh, it's like they're breaking free from something that where there was no growth, where there was no fertility, where there was a lot of conflict, where there was disharmony fighting you know and they're moving in a new direction and I feel like there's fast movement with that chariot card so things are gonna things are gonna happen fast we do have a new beginning here we do have a new beginning we have somebody that is uh, leaving behind a, a situation that they are no there's no passion there there's no desire to stay there's no it's no life it's no life they're leaving because this is lack of life right here. Lack of spark. No spark, no desire, no drive, no ambition, no no uh, growth. They're leaving that behind. Not taking everything with them either. Taking their experiences, creating a new beginning. So somebody's creating a new beginning for themselves by replacing fear with faith as well. Taking a risk. We have a very risky individual here that is stepping into unknown territory. They are taking action. They're taking the lead. They're taking control. <clears throat> and they're moving very, very quickly towards success. And they're moving towards emotional fulfillment. Definitely. Definitely. And leaving behind something where they were being burned. Or they were, you know, they were in some sort of battle. This battle is over. So yeah, I feel like on this day, it is about doing whatever it takes Somebody is going to be doing whatever it takes. They're putting their plans in action. That's what they're doing. There's been a delay. Things have been stagnant with that page of pentacles reverse. There's been a blockage. Somebody's been blocking success. But here it comes. Here comes success. Here comes victory. There could be an arrival. There could be an arrival with that chariot. So somebody could be arriving. They could be taking a risk. You know, they could be uh, showing up with an offer. Somebody could be showing up with an offer, an emotional offer. It's definitely going to be an emotional time. We definitely have a risk taker here that is replacing fear with faith. And they are taking action. This is somebody that may have just separated or they have separated from something that was not compatible. This is driving towards a new destination, driving towards something. <laughs> Leaving the past hurts behind on the path to recovery. 
So this is on the path to recovery. It's the end of a sorrowful situation. I mean, the three of swords reversed. This is releasing pain. Leaving the past hurts behind. So somebody is taking action to leave the past hurts behind and they are moving in a new direction very quickly towards emotional fulfillment. This is a day of action, of taking charge, of taking the lead. This is somebody that is, if you think about the emperor, the emperor is ready to fight. This is somebody that is battle ready. They have made a decision and they're not going to back down. One more card. Leaving the past hurts behind. Very, very quickly, too. Definitely. Facing fears. Facing it. You know. This is freedom. <laughs> eight of swords reversed. So, an eight of swords. Eight of cups. I don't know why eight of swords. Eight of swords reversed is freedom. Breaking free from prison, breaking free from some place that you have been confined, you have been stuck, you have been trapped. I said Eight of Swords reversed for a reason. This is escaping. Somebody is, or, or they're helping somebody to escape from something. But anyway, this is actually the Eight of Cups reversed, which is, you know, Somebody's been pretending to be happy. They've been staying put. They've been avoiding. They've been avoiding leaving an emotionally disappointing situation. They've, there's been a lack of spiritual growth. There's been some emotional weakness. You know, they've they've been doing thinking about leaving for some time, or they've been really unhappy. This, you know, this is just saying goodbye. There could also somebody could be apologizing. There could be an apology. There could be an apology. Somebody may be you know, wanting forgiveness because of that, that three of swords can be forgiveness. Somebody could be following their heart. They could be taking action and following their heart. Maybe they've, they've uh, received some sort of message from source because the magician is a direct connection to source. Okay. So that is, um, an awakening. So somebody may have received an awakening or they received a message, you know, um, there's also dreams here as well with the Ace of Cups. Somebody may have been dreaming. They're, they're following their dreams or something. Anyhow, this is the end of a battle. There's been a lack of growth. Somebody may have made a foolish decision. They may be separating from something. Or they may be uh, moving in a new direction. Uh, they are moving in a new direction. They're done staying put. Somebody's been avoiding conflict. They've been avoiding confrontation. But now they're replacing fear with faith. They're getting in the driver's seat and they're going someplace. Or they're, or they're in a seat that is a position of authority and they're definitely taking charge, taking charge, taking charge, taking charge. Somebody is absolutely taking charge. And they're moving. It feels like they're moving, you know. Taking a journey for sure. We have journey a couple times. So traveling to a new destination. And, and when you get to that new destination, there's victory. There's success. This is a yes answer. Yes, you will be successful. That's when you replace that fear with faith and you take the wheel. You take your power. This is a very powerful individual who has all the resources that they need to succeed. This is somebody who has a lot of life experience and is very skilled. All they have to do is find those resources inside to be successful. So we do, and that includes strength and courage and confidence and willpower and the willpower to leave something behind. Okay, this is somebody that finds the willpower to let go of the old to bring in the new. So we do have somebody here that is taking action to be, be, be successful. And they are going to be successful. And they're leaving behind an emotional, disappointing, disappointing situation behind. And they're headed right towards emotional fulfillment. This is, this is, I'm out of here.
and somebody has been living in lack with the page of pentacles reversed that is lack they didn't want responsibility they could have been fear of commitment or they were foolish i feel like we have somebody here that was foolish they did something foolish If they didn't want responsibility, but now they're definitely taking that position. So we have somebody here that is uh, making a decision that brings success. And there's nobody that is going to stop them. Good luck.